has done her research in the space of pharmacy. She has undergone the training through us, through 360 Digit MG. And now she is working with us, as, with, with us in the sense with InnoDataTix as a data scientist. Let us understand how her journey has been. So Dr. Sweta, yeah, really? the, the first question from uh, my side would be, how was your journey like? I mean, you're from non-IT background, yeah. right? And uh, you're from pharmacy background. Why did you think about getting into this field of data science? And do you now, uh, you know, really acknowledge the fact that data science is not for IT professionals? <laughs> yeah, Ben. So to begin with, uh, firstly, I want to thank you for having me over here. So I completed my Doctor of Pharmacy, which is like a doctorate course, after which I started working in a company which dealt with uh, pharma and uh, medical supplements. So in there, my expertise, subject expertise was needed to analyze the data and provide insights, which developed the curiosity in me for the data science stream. So then I started searching for the, the institutes which offer data science course, and I came across 360 Digit EMG. The most uh, thing, important thing that attracted me was the assurance that even a non-IT person can join the course. So, and even after, the jo after joining the course, when I was attending the classes and all, though I was from non-coding background, I would understand every bit of it, which helped me a lot, which gave me so much of courage that I kept going. So that was my journey towards data science. Wonderful, wonderful, uh, Sweta. So nice to know. And yeah. rightly put, a lot of people from non-IT background are getting into this field of data science, especially people who are getting trained with 360-digit MG. The reason being we train right from scratch. Second thing is, uh, you know, we give you that real world experience and exposure which is needed to, you know, understand the concepts. We have had mechanical engineers, we have had uh, people who have completed BCom, BA also, who got into the field of data science. So data science is not for only IT professionals. It's not at all IT, I should say. Okay, the second question is, I believe you have done internship projects yeah, right, with uh, InnoDataTix. And how did that actually help you, uh, Sweta? Can you throw some light on that, please? So after completing the course, I worked on two projects, which were real time. So working in those projects from end to end, like right from business understanding, understanding what the business problem is, what the client needs, collecting the data, deploying it, everything from end to end, I understood how uh, the real-time scenarios are, like how a data scientist should work on. And it gave me, it was like more of interesting thing than just a course completion. So, yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. And you, you have done very good uh, on those projects. And that is the reason why we thought, okay, we are getting a lot of pharmacy projects, um, pharma, pharmaceutical analytics related projects. And uh, given that you have the domain expertise, we thought you, you are going to add a lot of value on the projects that we work, right? So thank you so much for that. And uh, finally, if you want to give one single most important suggestion for the students who are undergoing the training or who completed the training, what would that be? Only one single most important suggestion, Dr. Sweta. My suggestion to the uh, people pursuing data science would be like to practice Python hands-on. Like keep practicing, never give up. At times you will feel like, oh, scared about coding and all, but then don't give up. As in how you practice, it will get easier. You will start understanding coding and you will love it. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. Thank you That's so fine. much. And yeah, so nice uh, knowing about all these things and insights from your side. Thank you so much, uh, Sweet. Thank you.